Good morning. It is a beautiful Wednesday morning. It's the first day of the week that we are open on our farm stand, the roadside stand that I set up. I know we have some radishes to pick in the garden, so we're going to go ahead, get in there and do that. That's the only vegetable that I'm going to be setting up this week on the roadside stand. So I should have enough to last me the four days that we're open. We usually open Wednesdays to Saturdays. So today I'm just gonna pick enough for what I think would sell today, just a couple bunches, and then we're gonna be home anyway. So if I have to restock, I will do that. But let's go ahead and harvest some radishes. I'm growing French breakfast radishes, and that is what's ready and poking out the ground, ready to pick today. We've been getting so much rain. Almost every day or night we get a little bit of rain. We have not actually physically watered our garden in who knows how long. I think by now it has been over a month since I've actually came out here with the water hose and watered anything, which is awesome. It's not creating any problems. The only thing that kind of seems a little mildewy is our garlic because as you know, Garlic isn't supposed to get rain before you harvest it, but I don't feel like all of our garlic is ready to harvest yet. So I'm giving it a little bit more time and hopefully it has time to dry up before we go ahead and harvest it all. So I'm just picking radishes. They're getting nice and big and they're already poking out the ground. So I'm just trying to pick the biggest ones and the ones that are poking out the most. These French breakfast radishes have been so easy to grow and I like them. They have a very mild flavor. They're not like super, super spicy unless you wait a little too long to pick. That's when they get a little spicier, but like fresh right off the ground like this, especially after all this rain we've been getting, they are um, at the best stage, I feel like. So I'm just going along this row and seeing if I see any really big ones. Any that still look small, I'm leaving behind so we can harvest later. But any that are like literally just poking out the ground, ready to be picked, I'm going to get those today. Radishes are good for slicing thinly for tacos. I do like a quick uh, radish pickle, like a refrigerator pickle with them. Um, then you could just slice them in salads. Some people roast radishes. I haven't tried that in a while. I tried that a, like a long time ago in Florida when we used to grow radishes, but the radishes were already bitter. So the little stir fry that we attempted to make was really bitter. Bet it'd be good with these fresh ones though. So I usually just wash these under really ice cold water, get all the dirt away from them. And I've been putting them in little snack baggies, but I just bought a cheap pack of rubber bands at the store. Look at these, these are completely out the ground. So what I'm gonna do is just rubber band them. Like I'll keep the greens on, attach the rubber band on top. That way I'm wasting less plastic. And I'll probably just set up the small cooler for today. I don't need to pull out the big cooler. All I have for vegetables is radishes and then I have some cakes that have frosting on them so I'll probably stick those in the cooler. But I don't need a whole lot of cooler space just for some radishes. Here's some more. That's probably already more than enough for a couple bunches but I see some really big ones so I'm just trying to get those radishes actually last a while in the fridge too I noticed that if I don't sell a bunch I stick it in the fridge like at the bottom of the fridge in the plastic bag and the radish and the greens will stay fresh and like crispy and hard for maybe like two the most of three days and then I noticed them going a little bit soft I'm sure they'll last even longer if you snip the greens off and just refrigerate the, the bulbs. But that's what I do. So if any don't sell today, I'll display them tomorrow. 
And then after that, we'll probably eat them ourselves or make something out of them and pick some fresh ones for the stand. So back here, they don't look like they're quite ready yet. But I got all the biggest ones that I've seen. We are getting lots of weeds in the garden, as you can see. We just ordered uh, like a weed tool from Amazon. It's supposed to help like scrape all the weeds. Kind of like a hoe, but it's a different little, it's like a different shape. But it's meant to like scrape the surface of the soil to kind of just chop all those weeds out of the way. Because with all this rain, the weeds are definitely getting out of control and there's no way that we can sit here and hand pluck all of these. I tried to keep the weeds clean around the plants by hand, but when it gets to like that in between the rows, um, and we haven't got enough grass clippings yet to start kind of filling in these walkways with grass clippings. We've been trying to keep all our grass clippings around the pumpkin plants and around our flower garden. So the cucumber plants have bounced back. I thought they weren't going to make it at first, but they're looking great. I've been trying to encourage them to lean this way. So I put like a little rock to kind of push the plant this way because I wanted to fill in this space. We're not growing anything here, but they keep trying to go to the tomatoes. So that's another cucumber. And then our zucchini has a little zucchini in there. Tomatoes still doing awesome. Carrots doing good. Um, these are cabbages over here next to the tomatoes. Cabbages are very slow growing, so those are probably won't be ready till sometime around fall time, maybe end of fall. But I got my radishes. I'm going to wash them up, see how many bunches I can make. I just sell them for a dollar a bunch. So I don't really put too many radishes in a bunch to make it worth a dollar. Depends how big they are. If they're really, really small radishes, I usually put more in the bunch to make it worth a dollar. But these are a little bit bigger, so I like to make it cheap. Um, people can just add them to their purchase. If they're coming to our stand to buy something else, they usually pick up a radish bunch or two and add it to their cart. Um, the watermelons are doing really good. Here's what I mean about mulching with the grass clippings. Just dumping all the grass clippings here around these plants to help with weeds. And that'll eventually compost into the soil and improve the soil as well. But I'm going to head to the kitchen, get these washed up, and I'll show you once I have them all bunched up so you can see how many I ended up putting in each bunch and then I'm going to be setting up the stand because we open at 9 in the morning so I usually like to have everything set up well before 9 a.m. just in case we get anybody who comes early. I just finished setting up my stand. I was picking a little bouquet of flowers, so I'll show you that. While I was picking the flowers, somebody came and bought the radishes I had just put out. That was our first customer of the day. They bought the three bunches that I had made, so I just told my son to go pick some more radishes. Um, I had set them up in this cooler 
right there and then my little cakes are right there so this is my stand set up i just have some jams uh, i just picked this bouquet of mixed flowers from our garden look how pretty it came out it has all the different colors and i just used this we bought these pineapples from sam's club i thought their jar was really pretty for flowers even with the label and everything so we'll see if it sells i'm only selling it for five bucks we'll see if somebody buys them um, usually I do larger bouquets for around six to eight dollars sometimes even ten like when I was selling the tulip bouquets those were like ten and twelve but we'll see because most of these are wildflowers and just things I find around the property but they're really beautiful these came from the wildflower box mix so did these orange ones and then like these just came with the property um, when we bought the house there was already all these things planted in them so and I like to use them as little filler flowers so that's our flower bouquet of the day I usually just put one or two out and then pick more as I need to I'm selling local soaps from another farmer um, so I've been setting those up while I make my own soaps as well to stock up the actual farm store once we open that and then I have just an assortment of jams and jellies I'm actually running low on all this stuff I have to make more so I can fill up our farm store once we open it for this week I made um, the cream cheese marbled brownies with like the cream cheese topping baked into it cherry chocolate chip almond cookies then I did the iced orange blueberry cakes but I also put some uniced ones here too and then in the cooler obviously we have the iced cakes so that they don't melt and the radishes for this week so that's what our little stand looks like right now and i gotta put out my signs we usually put some signs out like off the main road uh, pointing to here about six miles down the road and then i also line up our roadside like the frontage of our property with these little yard signs so that way it attracts people to stopping by and I also have my little open flag I've been sticking it here because the the actual part that goes into the ground broke off um, we can't use it anymore out there so I need to get another one of those so we just stick the open flag there seems to work most of the people that we get are just repeat customers that live around here anyway but um, new people that find our page through Facebook or through Google they can just use Google Maps to get here and it points them straight to our house so it's been working out until we get this thing opened up this will be our official farm store we can swing the doors open and have all of our products on display that's what I'm really looking forward to finally being able to use this although I'll still have to put things away after every day like the food products I wouldn't leave that in here because of just critters and bugs and stuff getting in them but I can probably leave like soaps and the jams since those are sealed in there so it's a lot less work hauling things in and out but for now the little stand has been working and that's what we're using until we go ahead and open that one I hope you guys enjoyed our video of picking radishes I'm gonna go see if my son needs help picking some more I'm probably gonna get two or three more bunches out I wasn't expecting to sell them all just to one customer but sometimes that happens sometimes everything you put out sells right away sometimes it takes one or two days to sell but I hope you guys enjoyed that video and then seeing how I set up my stand once again I will see you guys in the next video